Well, it's a pretty steamy part of the day here in New Delhi. It's bright and sunny. There's a little bit of breeze about, not very much though to cool ourselves down. Local time coming up to 12.30. 31 degrees Celsius is the temperature. The humidity relatively low, lower than it has been, 42%. And just a little bit of a breeze to fan us down over this uh, first green here. So we're into the semi-final stage of uh, the men's pairs. Here's what we've got for you. This is South Africa and Scotland. And then later on today, a men's singles game in Group A. Uh, Scotland again featuring there, uh, taking on Australia. And later on, there'll be a, a gold medal match for the women's pairs. Something to really look forward to. Getting into the medal stages uh, now. And uh, here we are then, South Africa and Scotland. They've already met before in uh, this uh, competition and uh, both teams have uh, shown consistent form on the rinks and uh, on their route through to this semi-final. Here are the semi-finals. The uh, winning teams obviously will meet in the final. Um, Scotland had to take part in the semi-final playoff. They beat Jersey in that. And uh, at the bottom there, England had to take part in a semi-final playoff. And uh, to get through to that semi-final against Malaysia, they beat Australia. So the players are just warming up on the greens. They have a couple of trial runs. South Africa, this is Jerry Baker just having a roll down. He's the skip for South Africa. And the lead will be Sean Adnell. There is Sean, and they are past medalists at these Commonwealth Games. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Clearly, they're going to be strong opponents to the Scottish team. Uh, they re are represented by uh, uh, Darren Burnett here, who's the skip. And the lead-off man will be Neil Spears. And there is Neil, and they played extremely well, and they play with a great deal of passion, and they look to be a very tight little unit. So the crowd have turned out. Uh, we've got a, a few uh, under the uh, shade over on the far side there, under the trees. It's uh, a time of the day to try and find a cooler place to sit. Uh, I'm Simon Holt. With me this, this afternoon is my Australian co colleague, Mike Rabbit. Uh, how are you today, Mike? Absolutely wonderful, Simon, and I think we're set for a very, very good match here. Scotland qualified uh, in third position in this section, so hence they had to go through the uh, semi-final playoffs or effectively the quarter-finals and uh, South Africa on the other hand went straight through they finished top of the pool with 10 wins and only the one loss with a plus shot uh, differential of plus 92 uh, Australia who finished second have gone out as Simon mentioned were beaten by England uh, in that uh, semi-final playoff but um, we've got uh, four very, very good players here, and I think we are set for a classic match. I was just uh, mentioning earlier that uh, Sean Adnor and Jerry Baker have uh, achieved medals here before. First Jack is uh, down. That was uh, in 2002, a bronze. And so South Africa leading off, and it's Sean Adnell who is going to deliver the first bowl here. Sean from Durbanville, which is a suburb of Cape Town. He's 41 years old and works as a training manager. And he's a keen reader and a keen gardener as well. This is Neil Spears lead-off man for Scotland, making his uh, Commonwealth Games debut. And what a debut it's proving. He's from Edinburgh. Good bowl. South Africa playing with the red discs on the bowls. Scotland blue discs. See the red disc in the foreground? That is a South African bowl, and that uh, is Adnor's second. Straws up just to the left of the jack. And Neil Spears looking to get this one close as well. And we'll 
try and keep you up to date uh, throughout the course of the game, periodically. The other semi-final, which is being played on the rink next door between Malaysia and England. It's a, a knock on the uh, jack there, Sean Adnell, but uh, straight into the Scottish Bowl. Yeah, just around the back, Scotland um, have two woods past the head. That is pleasing, so has... Uh, Sean Adendall. So, outside of the uh, blue disc bowl that sits on the jack, uh, they've got cover at front and back. Teen Fraser, who is the South African manager, former Springbok. And lives in or his club's the Florida Bowling Club in Johannesburg. And there is George Sneddon from Broxburn, which is just south of Edinburgh. Players for the Broxburn Bowling Club, of course. And on that uh, occasion, Cherry Baker just having uh, a run up the head, trying to disturb that Scottish bowl, which is sitting right next to the jack. Oh, you may find it out. Darren Burnett is from Arbroath in Scotland. He's a policeman. Yeah, lovely bowl. That's uh, there, and that's a counter at this particular stage. Each player has three bowls. Here it is again, just coming in now, just pulling up very, very nicely. And Jerry Baker makes up the line up here. He's from Johannesburg. Just down the side. Works as a financial director. Well, unfortunately, he didn't direct that onward terribly well. It just shot away to the left as he looks at it. Good end for Scotland at the moment. Burnett trying to put one more into the mix. If it turns in, has it got the legs? I think it has. Beautiful bowl from the big man. Jerry Baker with some work to do here now. I watched Jerry Baker play the other day and uh, he had a great game in this role as the last man, particularly when given the last bowl. Is this down the side as well? Well, what a start here for Scotland. Looks like they've uh, got a few. They're staring at the head. There's still uh, yeah, three of Jerry Baker's bowls uh, on the bank. Now, this could be a few. There is, when we looked at it, Aaron Burnett still has one bowl left to play. Yeah, two. So he could add to this. We, Well, it's one, two. Um, just that... Uh, I think they've conceded there is four there. And they're having a look at that bottom uh, blue bowl and the black bowl up there to see whether there is not much difference between those two. And Darren Burnett has the chance now of drawing another one. There's not too much fear that he can turn it over to the South African bowl. 
Yes, if he can move the South African bowl on the left there out of the way, then it will be big time. But he's come round on the backhand. It's got to do some work to get in. One, two, three, four. They've kicked four out. And a measure? Well, they might have even... Oh, no, they're going to have a measure for this one. So I think they have conceded four. And I think that's all it will be. But what a start for Scotland. And there we are, four blue lollipops. And great start for the Scots. Now, despite winning the first end, Scotland have uh, asked Sean Adenal to bowl down the jack. Normally it's the winners of the end, which, uh, well, they have the right to choose. So Sean Adnell of South Africa able to dictate the length of the jack. But once again, Darren Burnett will have the final bowl. Very big step, Sean Adnell. But it's effective. He's just sliding past. Spears on the mat pretty quickly. Oh, South buddy. Africa holding right. one at the moment. Right. Neil Spears trying right. to rest the shot back. And he's not too far away. Yeah. Very, very good bowl. And again. There's that big step and release from Sean Adendall. I wonder whether he ever has groin problems taking a step that big. Could be a bit hard on the knees as well. Mm. Probably hold the shot, Neil. Not a lie of that, but you might have the shot. Take one behind. One behind the way. Looks like Sean Adnall holding shot here for South Africa. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a toss up. I, not I sure. think it's uh, Neil Spears might just hold shot that blue bowl. Well, oh, gee, it's not much in it, is it? But I think that black bowl is casting a shadow too. So that might, uh, from that, give you a little bit of um, a different perspective. But it could very well be Scotland holding one. It's an excellent start from the boys. So South Africa will need to uh, to bounce back here. They've got one there. The next best are uh, the two Scottish bowls. It's a very different style from Darren Burnett too. To 
just looks down and then comes up. And he won't be happy with that one. Quite a good line. Well done, Jerry. What's a fantastic line. David, a nice little nudge there. The other side of the South African bowl. Just, uh, and that improves the position for South Africa. Very good comeback by Jerry Baker. Um, by his own very high standards, those first three bowls of the first end were less than his best, but he's bounced back here. Now Darren Burnett trying to get in. If he can get a wick off his own, well, he's only promoted it over to the South African bowl, but there will be a couple to South Africa at least. Should be two there at this stage, but um, both skips have one left, one bowl left each. So they're just having a look. Uh, Jerry Baker on the left, short and a Adenal on the uh, right, surveying the scene. Yeah, you'd probably think that the draw's on. Uh, even if he, Simon, he leaves it uh, a bowl or two to the right of the jack, uh, that'll make it. He, but he doesn't want to provide a target at the same time. He just needs to get into the count. So. He'll either come through those two blue bowls you can see on your screen now on the forehand side, but if he does do that and he doesn't go through a little bit, he won't provide too much cover. But he's coming the forehand. On the forehand, no real danger in this direction. If he can just move that Scottish bowl out of the way, though, well was a fair effort, that's what they were looking for. He's got, got two now. Darren Burnett. The uh, Neil Spears explained for you, if he, can, if he can hit the Jerry Baker bowl, which he cannon into his other Jerry Baker bowl, he might be able to clear both of those out and maybe uh, could get shot from this. That's what he's looking at. Last bowl of the end from Darren Burnett. He's got to work to turn. He's got to get a wick off something, get a bit of luck. But that won't be the case. Let's see what the conclusion is. It's uh, going to be two, is it? And in fact, it is three to South Africa. So two quite uh, high scoring ends to begin this match with Scotland leading 4-3. Okay. See the athletic stadium in the background. The events uh, will begin there a little bit later on in the day. Crowds building in the athletic stadium. Struggled a little bit for spectators here at the Lawn Bowls, but um, it was quite a good atmosphere last night here, particularly on this rink yeah, where England fought off uh, India in the uh, women's triples bronze medal playoff. It was an exciting game. It was volubly supported by the locals who were obviously hoping for an Indian win, and the Indian girls played extremely well. Probably just a little bit less experienced than the England team. Yes, it was a wonderful atmosphere. Just referring to the stadium, I had a walk over there but in between matches today. It's a vast, vast arena. Beautiful bowl by Neil Spears. He wants the roll, but it didn't happen for him. But that's right on the money. Great bowling.
Great shot of the extension of Sean Admiral's arm as he follows through the delivery. It's trying hard. Well, they seem to have uh, cleared away all the various insect debris which uh, littered this rink last night. It will doubtless again be the case tonight. It's a bit of a problem in the evenings with some quite hard-backed insects getting onto the rink and and uh, deflecting the bowls a little. We've got a special uh, visitor today. It is uh, the uh, Earl of Wessex, Prince Edward, vice patron of the Commonwealth Games Federation. Of course, uh, his mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is the patron. Seventh in line to the throne back in the UK, having a look at some lawn bowls this afternoon. Yes, it's great that the Prince could uh, take the time, apparently, on each occasion, when he comes to the Commonwealth Games, he loves going to the uh, the lawn bowls. Yes, he's uh, quite a regular. He, he was uh, he opened the 1998 Commonwealth Games in Malaysia, and uh, an increasingly busy royal has a full schedule of royal duties, and in recent years has succeeded to many of the roles of his father, the Duke of Edinburgh. Did I notice that you gave up, uh, stood up and gave a little bow then towards his enclosure? Well, people have different views, but um, yes, I would be more inclined to. So you know where I sit on that argument. That's absolutely not a problem. Now, as an Aussie, I'd be very interested to hear where you sit, actually. Oh, I'm a bit of a royalist. Uh, not, not in the uh, absolute royalist category, but uh, I'm more a a monarchist than a Republic, uh, Republican, I suppose, and there's been a fair bit of debate in Australia mm. as to whether here he comes. He's coming down to sit out in the open. That jacket won't last long. But, uh, yeah, there's been a fair bit of debate in Australia regarding whether we should become a Republic or not. That's each and everyone's personal choice, I suppose. Of course, his uh, elder brother, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, was at the opening ceremony. the absence of Her Majesty this time. Scotland holding one, I think. It'd be a toss-up with that black bowl from South Africa. Both skips have one bowl remaining. Jerry Baker's probably got two. I just can't quite see. We've got one of our little uh, scoreboard attendants just blocking the view of that from here, but uh, yeah, it's a toss-up, isn't it, uh, as to who holds shot. South Africa could even hold a couple on, on our angle. From time to time, we'll show you that uh, target area again, which will give you a good perspective. Gary Baker on a wide arc here. It did pretty well. Not a bad goal for either, place of a handicap at 10. Yes, that's uh, fairly respectable. And he's better at bowls. He was a bronze medal winner in the 1998 Commonwealth Games at uh, Kuala Lumpur. And as we mentioned earlier, with Sean Admiral, won the bronze in Manchester. Darren Burnett of Scotland. Tracking nicely, tracking nicely. It needs some extra legs. Won't get them. So Jerry Baker at his fourth Commonwealth Games. It's a good line. The weight on it. And well. The blue bowls, the blue discs are Scotland, the red are South Africa. What have they decided? And it's a blue lollipop, so it's one to Scotland there. Jerry Baker unsuccessful with that last bowl. It was a good try. 
Had a bit of weight on it. Upset the head, but it's uh, now 5-3 to Scotland. <laughs> Here's more news from ASX Shot to Win, the great Commonwealth Games competition from Mitsubishi. Valerie's had her final shot at the Games. So, one of these new Mitsubishi ASXs has been won, but you're still with the chance to win the other ASX. All you have to do is find the hidden key. Just visit asxshottowin.co.nz and good luck. Yeah, good bowl here from Sean Adnell. The leads I've been very impressed with so far, Simon, they, they were on the money straight away. So they should be after 11 rounds of sectional play. As the breeze does get up a little bit, and it's been playing absolute havoc with the uh, umbrellas that are around. And Neil Spears, a pretty good reply from the big fella too. Such an important match for these uh, guys. None of them will want to be in a bronze medal playoff. Uh, we saw that yesterday in the uh, men's triples. The England team, uh, even though they ended up winning the bronze medal, came out in the first few wins. They just didn't want to be here. Uh, they got beaten in a four-end tie-break against Australia, and it was shattering. And I did find out later on that uh, their big skip uh, had the chance to put England through. He had. Uh, meters and meters and meters of grass to draw a shot. The uh, Jack had gone into the ditch and uh, he didn't make it. And apparently he was inconsolable after. And it took him a little while to get it together, Rob Newman. But in the end, he played very, very well and was probably, in many aspects, the difference in England winning that bronze medal last night. Well done to England. Yes, it was a good night for England with uh, the girls winning their bronze medal playoff as well. So you can see the South African black bowl just in front of the jack. That's the shot bowl at the moment. And they possibly have two there. That other black bowl may be close. Jerry Baker, lefty, trying to draw on the backhand here. He just give his own ball a little roll there, a little nudge. It all helps. This way looking to get this pretty close it's a good bowl from Darren oh. Burnett and it's just run by Jerry Baker and, and he won't want to disturb that Jack Oh, though he's got some covering himself. Oh, that's a beautiful bowl from the skip. It rolls over. That's wonderful. Now, Darren Burnett, from time to time, here's the replay, just coming in, settles behind the jack, and watch it roll over, and that's perfect. And Darren Burnett, with some pace, trying to disturb the head. He's done something, and now, that has gone out of the rink. It will be respotted. And it could very well be to Scotland's advantage here. There he is. Now you watch him where he spots it. 
If you see that little T just to, to the right of your screen a little bit, that's one and a half metres from the centre of the rink. Now, there is the mauve bowl of Jerry Baker and the blue bowl is Scotland's. And Jerry Baker and Darren Burnett will have one bowl each to try and draw, draw that. It's too close to call who's the shot bowl on those other two bowls. Successful shot though from Darren Burnett because um, it was looking grim there for mm. Scotland. They were yeah, probably they were lying hard. four shots down. Yep. Jerry Baker with the first pop at this uh, new jack position. Yeah, that's not bad from that distance, but it certainly does give um, Darren Burnett a chance here, Simon. Absolutely. On the left uh, of the prints is uh, John McArdle, I think it is, who is the president of the World Bowls Federation. Uh, we just can't quite see him at the moment. And that's Raja Randhir Singh, the vice chairman of the Olympic Committee, and he's also vice chairman of the organising committee, uh, the gentleman with the turban on uh, the prince's right. Four-time Olympian in shooting, and here's Darren Burnett trying to draw the shot, and I think he's done... Well, it's just sliding out now, but I still think that's probably shot. And they're going to give that shot. Yes, one to Scotland then, and they extend their lead in this first set. It is now... 6-3. You see Prince Edward there with a small pair of binoculars. Now that's a good idea. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> Is his eyesight failing? <laughs> you can see it's only 115 feet. Well, I've been struggling. <laughs> <laughs> There's our competition manager, Bill Foley, who has done an absolutely fantastic job. And everyone here, the competitors, and specifically the broadcast crew here, thank Billy. He's done a wonderful, wonderful job. So this is the fifth end. Sean Admiral with that big stride down the rink. He deserves his first bowl. Yeah, Scotland 6-3, uh, playing very well at the moment. It's not as though that South Africa uh, haven't played well. They've been playing very well too. But all players are really playing some great lawn bowls. We should uh, prepare ourselves for a little bit of seismic activity should Scotland win because the other day when they beat Botswana, the two lads, and they are big lads, <laughs> they ran at each other and had a, a really heavy group hug. Well, <laughs> I, I, the earth moved. Well, I don't know whether Neil Spears was expecting it, but Darren, Darren Burnett took a flying leap into his arms. When I say a flying leap, well, he's probably about an inch and a half off the ground. But <laughs> and he must be, what, what would he be, 17, 18 stone? I'm not entering into that debate whatsoever. <laughs> he's a big boy. <laughs> the umbrellas are moving all over the place here. And Neil wasn't expecting it, and the look on his face was priceless. He is having a good look around. The man, as I mentioned, uh, uh, on his left, we've just uh, pan back. Yeah, there he is. And he's. Uh, that's uh, John McArdle, who is the president or chairman of World Bowls. Yeah, not much in it. Neil Spears now trying to. Just rest the shot. Yeah, he's just uh, gone on by. Probably not too around the head on this occasion. Uh, it was a very good uh, drawing in the last end, but this time a little bit more wide, wide open. So the skips have plenty of room to move here to draw the shot. An intriguing battle in the other semi-final. Of course, the winner goes through to the gold medal game after five ends. 
England lead Malaysia 6-4. Yeah, shot ball at the moment for Jerry Baker. So now it's going to be uh, Darren Burnett's turn. Darren was uh, fifth in the singles at the Manchester Commonwealth Games in 2002, British champion in 2005. Yeah, it's just a little wide on this occasion. And with the ability of these players, it's a little bit surprising there is not some shots closer to the jack on this end. Now they are going into any breeze that is here, you would think. But it's certainly not going to affect them dramatically at ground level. Nice clear run at this. Plenty of room. All about weight and line. Just overrun the mark, Simon. It's a real toss up. There is George Snedden, the coach of Scotland. Standing up at the moment. Here are the boys. Jerry Baker's going to walk up to the head here while. Uh, Sean Adnell has a measure. <laughs> John McArdle giving uh, the Prince possibly the low down on exactly what happens here in the game of lawn bowls. Well, I think he probably um, has quite a lot of experience. Uh, I think I'm right in saying there's still a lawn bowls green in the uh, grounds of uh, Windsor Castle. Oh, OK. It's uh, a game that has been played through the generations by royalty. So he's probably had a few runouts at uh, Windsor Castle. Well, after you've given him uh, many reps today, you might get an invite to have a roll up one day. Never actually been to Windsor Castle. It's supposed to be it's open to the, the public and um, only hear good things about it. Mm. So they're having a real good look at this. Teen Fraser, the uh, South African coach. Probably just, what they're probably doing here is saying, well, if I take a bowl out or if I do this, can I uh, get more shots than just the one? Instead of, if, if it was just drawing the one shot, Jerry would have played the bowl half an hour ago. Uh, but obviously they're having a look at if they can take a bowl out or shift the jack. If, well, they can't shift the jack back because there's too many blue bowls at the back. So I think in the end he will just try and draw the shot. Or do they have some more cunning plan? Looks like just a draw shot. And he's uh, executed it beautifully there, Jerry Baker. Terrific bowl by the man from Johannesburg. Probably what he was looking there to do also is he needed to leave his bowl in such a, a space that Darren Burnett couldn't just take the jack back and rest it against those blue bowls because those two blue bowls are the centre of your screen just up from the bottom of your screen. Um, if, if Jerry hadn't put the bowl there, it were wide open for Darren Burnett to be able to draw that back to the back. And even if they'd run it through a little bit further, they could have possibly been sitting three. So in the scheme of things, that bowl could not have been more perfect for Jerry Baker. That's a beautiful bowl. So the Scottish pair is scratching their heads a little here. 
two blues down from the jack are both Scottish but um, that red bowl of Jerry Baker is certainly uh, going to limit the jacks and also towards, the, towards those where the jack is sitting uh, he can't really have a crack at it because you would think from there the only way that the jack could go would be back up the green um, and if he takes that Jerry Baker bowl out, the other bowl on the right hand side at about the half past two mark, that's a South African bowl and I think that's shot bowl. So it looks like he's merely trying to draw the shot, I say merely, it's a, a difficult one, maybe under the line. Yeah, I'm I think sure. he gave up, gave up on that on a long way from home. It was uh, probably just too difficult. Good end for South Africa. And uh, they come back at Scotland there. And now it is 6 5. It's time to redecorate. Right now you can get 8 litres of selected Dulux interior paint for just the 4 litre price. Plus, we'll donate $1 to the SBCA from every pale sold. Dulux Double Up on now at your local Dulux retail stockist while stocks last. SIT Bachelor of Sport and Recreation student Eddie Dawkins is the current sprint cyclist world champion. With his target set firmly on gold as he represents New Zealand at the Commonwealth Games. Call 0800 40 feeds. from uh, Sean Adnall. Not mucking around Neil Spears, he's straight on the mat and straight into it. Yeah, he's a press player. Oh. We had a singles match this morning that went 58 minutes for the two sets. That wasn't the first set, that was for Wait, both sets. On. They absolutely flew through their match. Were they running between ends? No, but they didn't muck around. It's, at one stage, they uh, had finished the end, grabbed the jack and bowled it back, and it went past the market, so we had to chase after it. <laughs> what that quick? There's another beautiful bowl from Sean Adnall. Well Very good. There's a couple. It's an idea for a sort of 2020 style of lawn bowls, though, isn't it, uh, Mike? You know, running between ends. No, Throwing we'll them down as quickly as possible, all over in 20 minutes. How about that? Haven't we got over <laughs> that already, the 2020? Now you, <laughs> you're thinking of uh, innovations. One of your innovations is being able to create a little box in the corner uh, of the, uh, the rink so the players can go and actually stand in that. Uh, so spectators and uh, television cameras can actually see the bowl finish at the head. But there are some innovations that I'm sure that World Bowls are having a look at, but w as you know, within the world of golf, it's very, very hard to meddle with centuries of history. Mm. I don't think you'd have to meddle with centuries of history to make the sport even more television friendly to both uh, to viewers and indeed spectators yeah. who, who visit uh, bowls championships. Uh, no, I think you're probably right there too. When I'm king, it'll all change. <laughs> you're king now. Yeah. King Simon. That's a nice yeah. deflection. Now I'm just wondering with him. Well, he's he's not terribly happy with it. We've got uh, Neil Spears's shadow over it, so we can't tell exactly whether that shot bowl or the um, South African bowl of Sean Adendall. There is that that's a shadow at the back of that bowl, so we can't. It's sitting flat. So there is um, very little in it. Yeah, I'm not going to call that one. Maybe Scotland by a whisker. 
but there is four bowls, five bowls to be delivered. Neil Spears just saying, play on the, to your own bowl, and Scotland have got the two best backwards, those blue bowls you can see, the bottom of your screen, he's got to get up there now, but he's put one through there, he'll get one more crack at it, so he's just wondering now whether Jerry Baker will put one around the back, Simon, for a bit of cover. Yes, he's added one more shot possibility by joining those other Scottish bowls behind his Jerry Baker. He's just trying to draw it, but he's across the face again. Now, Darren Burnett's good enough. It'll put enormous pressure on Jerry Baker if he can roll this over and promote the jack back to those three blue bowls. Jerry Baker would have awful difficulty with the next. to spring the jack here oh next best scenario he's sitting two at the moment just comes in here and didn't take his own bowl flush uh, he needed to take that flush it was sitting directly behind the jack didn't get it didn't shift the jack now that probably they're having a look at here for Jerry Baker, needs to get rid of that blue bowl, but it's, he'd love to be able to pick up the jack, maybe off the black bowl, and this is a big ass. this is uh, Walter Lindrum snooker shot, to the black bowl and then over to the left of your screen there, because South Africa's sitting quite a few shots there, but uh, I think he'd be happy just to try and knock the blue bowl out and maybe hold shot, but it, gee, it's, again, it's a difficult shot, whichever aspect he takes. He's going to come back and have another look. So um, how many cushions has he got to come off here, mind you think? Well, uh, he's got to come off the blue, off the yellow, <laughs> over to the red discs. And if you're watching in black and white, <laughs> whispering Ted, the yellow is behind the green. <laughs> One of the all-time <laughs> famous quotes of uh, something like that, anyway. Yeah, set, uh, Scotland holding two. This big by the only trail by one, so he's going to try and draw on the backhand and lay it on that Scottish bowl. It's working, it's working very well. Can he get it? It's going to slip oh. through. Gee, what a magnificent attempt from Jerry Baker. And Scotland will be very happy to take one on that, Simon. This is a wonderful attempt. If he just caught the jack a little bit more flush, he might just have nicked the shot there. But as it is, it is one to Scotland. And in this very tight first set here, on rink one, Scotland lead 7-5. Good game. Wonderful game. And the semi-final, the other semi-final, the men's pairs has been played next door. Malaysia have grabbed a one-shot lead over England after seven ends, 8-7. I don't think either of the uh, combinations of Scotland and South Africa will be paying any attention to that match and wondering who they're going to play in the gold medal match later on. They've got uh, some in the umbrellas at the back, you can see, getting turned inside out. The boys will be 
very keen to get through. And as you said earlier, Simon, uh, it'd be a little bit of a, a let down. Oh, that's a wonderful bowl from Sean Adenal uh, to play in the bronze medal game. But after a couple of ends, they'll settle down and then they know a medal's on the line. Didn't like that at all. Stayed out a little. A couple of shots for South Africa. Magnificent bowl by Sean Adendal once again. Magnificent. That's the uh, bronze medal winning team from last night. Uh, men and for Rob Newman on the left there. And Shane also Gordon. Mark Bantop on the right. And the skip of the women's triples team that won the bronze medal. Sean Gordon in the middle there. So Rob Newman on the left. Mark Bantop on the right and Shan Gordon in the middle. Well done to them. I hope they celebrated long and hard last night. Oh, South Africa peppering the jack here. Darren Burnett has three bowls to play with. Scotland have got uh, one on the bank. And Jerry Baker's going to make this tougher again for Darren Burnett. Oh, it's just cut away. Well, oh, maybe it's unlikely. He just wants to be able to throw some cover in there on those two bowls because it's a serious target at the moment for Darren Burnett. Darren Burnett, a policeman from Arbroath. Certainly looks as though he'd uh, represent the strong arm of the law. It's not really going at it full weight. Yeah, he's just missed everything again. He'll have another two attempts. The good meter on your last. work. Yeah, I think what he was trying to do is he was trying to get one around the back to match those uh, the two bowls at the back of the uh, Scotland Bowl. So I think Jerry was really trying to get one around there in case Darren Burnett has a real drive at him. He just wants a touch on this. Well, that creates some problems too for him, Simon, if, if he if he feels as though he's in strife and he wants to have a drive at those, now he's covered it with his own bowl. Yes, that wasn't ideal. He's walking around the back of the head and he knows uh, that was an opportunity. And Jerry Baker just trying to get another one into the count here. Pretty good. Very good. Is the wind really starting to pick up here? Hang on to that umbrella. And the young lady, Janan, is the 
president of the Indian Lawn Bowls Association, the Prince, with us today. It's going to have to hold its line, and I think it's going to go straight through the gap. Oh. Well, it's uh, going to be a good one for South Africa here. Yeah, a big end. And it's uh, four for South Africa. They not only take the lead, they take it now by two at the end of the seventh. Very important time for South Africa to get a four-shotter there. And uh, despite having won that end, the South Africans asking Scotland to lead off. Well, so far in this first set, Simon, we've seen two fours and a three some of the heavier scoring that we've seen in any of the Commonwealth game matches that we've covered. Good. She might have supposed to have been at work today. <laughs> Supporting the Malaysian contingent here who are in a gripping battle with England in the other men's pairs semi-final. It's eight all after eight ends. Neil Spears. Had plenty of pace on that. It's only just held on. Quite close to the ditch. It's marked as a toucher. I'm holding one at the moment. Yeah, nice weight, just the, the line off a little bit. You need that much, Sean. Turn your ball, sit on Neil's balls. First name basis, the players. I should imagine would have played against each other numerous times at World Championships. Oh. Yeah, she's going to knock that Scotland ball up a bit. Yeah, a bit annoyed about that, Sean Adnall. Just hoping to get around that and get up to that other Scottish bowl. It's got one holding one, but uh, again, it's drawable there, Simon. Plenty of uh, space to come round. few special guests today. There is uh, Sebastian Coe, who is the chairman of the London Organising Committee for the 
2012 Olympic Games to be held in London. Oh, lovely bowl from Nils, uh, from uh, Jerry Baker. That's close. That is very close. He turned the bowl. I've took one out and got a wick. Here it is. Onto his um, partner's bowl. Bang onto the Scotland bowl and rolled over. That's possibly shot. Well, now Darren Burnett's got a problem. Hold it. You touch that jack away, very good. This one, this is against us. Well, he made uh, contact there, did uh, Darren Burnett. Well, uh, the state of the game here, Simon, is that Jerry Baker's having a good look at it now. He's the only one to bowl. He may not very well bowl this last bowl. He might just take the shot. That would give them a sh three-shot lead going into the last end. Well, he's definitely got one. I don't know whether there's two there, but... If he could take that blue bowl out and rest his own bowl there, then he could have three. Yeah, one shot to South Africa at the moment, but I think that's what they're having a look at. If they can take that blue bowl, which is about the five o'clock mark from the jack, if you have a look on the clock, take that out and rest his bowl there, that's three. That would be 12-7 and almost impossible for Scotland to get a five in that last set to draw the set in the last end I should say and there's quite a discussion taking place here between these two South Africans he's just turned to his coach Teens Fraser to ask him there's the brains trust the coach sitting down as we've said before this sort of consultation with the coach would be outlawed in other sports yeah, that, in lawn bowls, they become a, a coach and a mentor. Uh, these are two very, very experienced uh, players. Uh, it was a bit of a different scenario in the, the match last night with the Indian young ladies and the triples. Um, Richard Cole, their coach, the very last bowl of the match, she had a chance to draw off and they could have sat three, which they needed to force the tie break. Here's the bowl. Yeah, and I don't know whether... Uh, it's coming round. Will it come round enough just to nudge that blue ball out? It's a great effort by Jerry Baker. And uh, just playing with a bit of safety in mind as well. He took plenty of carpet there, didn't he? Uh, the last thing he wanted would be to have moved the jack. But it's uh, still one for South Africa. And they extend their lead. And it's now 10-7. Get to New Zealand's premier cookware destination, Harvey Norman, for the latest in modern, stylish, functional cookware from around the globe. Whether building, renovating or simply upgrading, come and see our cookware specialists for a tailor-made package or solution to suit your needs. Or choose a replacement item from our huge range across all our big brands. New Zealand's premier cooking destination is Harvey Norman. Talk to the experts today for the complete kitchen and cookware solution.
Yeah, a little bit short this time from Sean Adenal. Prince Edward has uh, come out of the stand and is just getting a closer look at the facilities here at the JN Sports Complex. And this is not bad from uh, Neil Spears. He's got two back past the head. They need a three Scotland to draw the first set. Four to win it. One shot for South Africa would do. And I don't think Jerry Baker is going to mind Sean and Sean Adden were having one at the back. It's probably not as far around as he would have liked. Now there's the running style of Newell Spears. Oh, and a beautiful bowl too. He's put it right on the jack. You on a rush? Tom McArdle on the right hand side and coming down here to have a look at the England Malaysia match no doubt that'll give the boys a bit of a G up as we watch Sean Adendall trying to get shot and he has very good bowl little high five with his skip two here it comes just coming through there that's the previous bowl and just kissed that one away and a beautiful bowl indeed. Rightly pleased with himself, the big fella. Now Darren Burnett. Good line. Very close. Picks up the jack, but it's... Uh, Close to that, uh, or closer to that South African bowl. Well, at the might, moment, might sorry. not be much in that, uh, Mike. Depending on what Jerry Baker does with this, Darren Burnett will try and take that bowl, that black bowl out, because if he could, and albeit the fact that Jerry Baker has two more shots in his end. They could be holding the four. <laughs> Not one of his better ones. Now he's trying to get around that bowl and take the Sean Adenal bowl out. He just kissed that one and he's promoted another South African bowl up. Now that makes it a little bit more difficult for him. Intriguing uh, closing stage of this end. Jerry, you like to get it. Your weight's good. Jerry Baker's ball's on its way. It's another very accurate one. But straight into the Scottish bowl, and Scotland looking good now. Well, what a uh, unbelievable bowl there from Jerry Baker. He has absolutely drawn everything within an inch of his life. Now he could possibly have turned this over to allow Scotland a situation where, here it is, he comes in now, whacks the jack, the jack stays where it is, and then his own bowl slides through. You would have to think that there is three Scottish bowls there at the moment. The score in this uh, set 10-7, so, if Darren Burnett can draw another, Jerry Baker still has another bowl as well. 
But uh, if Darren Burnett can get one more, Scotland ju just steal this set. Jerry Baker may have something to say about that, though, with his final bowl. Now, either Darren Burnett has got to be in the head or he's got to make it really difficult for Jerry Baker to have a clear crack at that from where we are here, just behind this end. Jerry Baker has got a clear shot at the head. But if he can reduce Scotland to two shots, then South Africa still win the set. Yeah, exactly, Simon. If all he's got to do is cut the damage here. And where the jack is sitting, you think it might only be propelled back up or it could squirt either, you know, out to the side and whatever. Having a look on the respot basis, you would there's no way known that Scotland could get um, three there from a respot. You can see the little T right at the bottom of your screen. If we can hold that, there is a white chalk mark on the left and a white chalk mark on the right. Now that's 1.5 metres from the centre of the rink. On the left hand side, if the jack goes that way, South Africa have got the shot. And on the right hand side, there's not much in it. South Africa can't win the set. Uh, Scotland can't win the set. At the moment, if it stays as it is, it looks as though the set could well be tied unless Jerry Bacon can just reduce Scotland's advantage here. There's going to be a knock on, and that'll be that'll good look. enough for South Africa. Just get the confirmation from our marker, and it's just one to Scotland. So South Africa win the opening set, 10-8. His final bowl from Jerry Baker promotes his own bowl. Doesn't grab shot, but is a good second when Scotland needed four shots there. They didn't get them. South Africa win the opening set. Couldn't live more than three minutes from real coffee. Love those wide open spaces. In here as well as out there. It's hard to get to. Maybe why it's the best kept secret in town. Don't tell anyone. The all new Street Smart Mitsubishi ASX. Built for your city life. Love that car. Plenty of chat out there. Come on, you run. Come on, Paul. Run. Good. Just join them. Again, Neil Spears playing quickly. Gets on with it. Scotland looking fairly strong. They won't want to trail that jack too hard. Just drawing this, Sean. You're very close, but I'll adjust. Now it's starting to do its best work at the end. It's made a little bit of a move. Twenty to two here. New Delhi time. It's very hot out there. A little bit of a breeze. 
hot work for everybody, spectators, those working, our cameramen, they're baking out there. A bit windy for the parasols. Excellent. Well, there's three in there for Scotland, one for South Africa just to the left of the jack. Darren Burnett in reflective move, didn't want that fingernail. It's that sort of match. 10 8 to South Africa in the first set. Looking very good, yeah. Pretty well. Just a touch he needs. Well, that'll do. He'll have another couple of cracks at that, depending on what Jerry Baker does. There's a lot to risk. Oh, you played so well there. Your weight's so good. Far away either. Sits on the blue bowl. Jerry Baker takes the shot. And a good high five from the boys as well. A little bit of work here for Scotland to do with that. Just whether he comes on the backhand and tries to draw that South African bowl away. Yes, if he can move Jerry Baker's uh, last bowl out of the way, Scotland could sit too. He's seen with his little action with his foot there, so I mean, he just wanted to say, well, if I can kick that away, it'll be a toss up for the second shot, depending on where his sits. Big bowl wave in the second set. Bait. 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 Extra weight on this, is that? He's going to take nothing. Just drifted on the low side. And so now Jerry Baker as well he's definitely lying one how brave will he be here do you think well the way he's been drawing simon i think he'd probably have a crack at this and just try and get the weight exactly right and be able to sit that bowl yeah probably the forehand that way he would give away the uh, backhand i should say for a left-hander uh he would give nobody is going to come the forehand uh, the other way would have if he had a turn it over given away less shots to uh scotland but he's been drawing beautifully on the forehand. Yeah, it's just going to skirt around the back. I don't know how serious he was at uh, having a crack there, but that's a great way for South Africa to start this second set. Yeah, they take a, a one-shot lead, and they lead by one set to nil.
once again the uh, familiar tactic of putting the other side into bat, so to speak. As Scotland delivering the jack despite having lost that first end. On the tee, huh? Extra meter. Yeah, that's almost maximum length here. Um, a very long length. So Scotland dictating where they want this one. Pretty good effort by both players. It's a great ball, great weight from the short Adenhook and great line. Wonderful reply from Neil Spears. South Africa proving very strong in this uh, Lawn Bowls tournament, uh, Mike. That his skip would be absolutely wrapped in that. Now there's not much room from the back of the ditch to those two black bowls you can see on your screen now. His skip would be absolutely delighted they're there. And Neil Spears trying to match that. But South Africa still two best. Yes, South Africa are having a great tournament. Two gold medals yesterday. the triples a couple of cliffhangers both against Australia I yeah, saw the closing stage of the women's triples it was a, a real nail-biting finish I'm just wondering whether Jerry Baker has got something in those Sean Adenall bowls because we've seen it during the tournament he clicks his fingers every now and then and on command it either stops or runs on a little bit so do you think there's a little receiver in the bowl a little secret signal my like conspiracy theory for the commonwealth games a little battery operated receiver Pretty close. Jerry Baker's a very tough opponent in the position of skip. Yeah, I'd hate to be playing cards against him. He absolutely gives nothing away. Yeah, real poker face. I bet he's a bandit off ten as well. Exactly. <laughs> and he's my kind of man. He loves football, golf and snooker. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> oh, in your case, horse racing. I bet he loves a punt too. Yeah, don't forget the sport of kings. They're a little bit short. Uh, again, Darren Burnett has plenty of room to be able to draw this. He's still got plenty of room to draw it. No, he's clicking, but it's not working. <laughs> Oh, gone oh well, I don't know, but it's just gone to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Hear him clicking madly. We might have a look at that again. Something happened there. 
That's in the ditch. What happened here, Simon? Something seemed to affect Aaron Burnett on, on the follow-through here. Um, oh, yes, he uh, was attacked by one of the many millions of insects here. Oh, he had a problem last night as well in the uh, women's game. and uh, An insect um, seemed to fly straight into Sandy Hazel's eye, and she was in some discomfort for a while. And um, uh, yesterday as well, there was another player, a, l a lady uh, yeah. who was bitten. Uh, Jennifer Dow Dowds was uh, bitten and she had to call for some uh, medical attention. Uh, there was a, a, a very, very biggish bug here that uh, apparently is uh, pretty venomous and some of the Australians were picking him up and trying to find out where his hypodermic was and all sorts of stuff. So it um, <laughs> can give you a very severe bite and it's a muscle debilitating bite or stab that this uh, insect gives you so we've certainly seen a variety of wildlife and, and in that women's triples last night a couple of the times where the bowl actually ran over the top of a hard shell bug it did uh, push the bowl off the line well i'd be very interested to see tonight if if they don't go out and try and sweep them away I mean, you know, that's through yeah, he was just trying to take that front bowl out and I think it's one to blue. It is indeed. So that's uh, all square in this second set. G'day, Murph. G'day, Murph. When you're buying or selling a car, G'day, Murph. There's the good guys and there's the others. Make the right choice. G'day, Murph. It's the same when your car needs servicing or repairing. Eliminate the risk. Only trust the professionals. So, how do you tell the difference? G'day, Murph. Always look for the sign. G'day, Murph. MTA people, they're dedicated. Take the shot at all. Well done. Gripping match, first set, only two shots in it. And after four ends in the other men's semi final, the between England and Malaysia, 4 3 to England after they took the first set. Yeah, very good bowl there oh, from Neil Spears. Oh, no. Yeah, Neil Spears now bowling. That was from Sean Adendall, of course. And this is Neil Spears, and he's not too far away for the money. It needs another two or three rolls. Brilliant. Wonderful bowl. A couple in at the head. And here it is again, just uh, in its dying moments. They were talking to it. Don't go any further. Stay there. Don't move. Stop. And it did.
Jerry Baker is just playing superb lawn bowls. Every time Scotland get into a position where they can get a march and get ahead in this set, Jerry Baker, the South African skip, does something like that. He's a thorn in their side, isn't he? he they are providing a little bit of a target, um, but Jerry Baker is just doesn't seem to uh, worry about the degree of difficulty. He's just able to pull, the, pull off the shot. And Darren Burnett probably hasn't been able to respond at this stage. Yeah, that's going to stay on, but unless Darren Burnett plays a fairly strong on shot, you wouldn't think that would come into play, but don't disregard it. Excellent track here, Jerry. He's at it again. He's at it again. Oh, it just slipped through. Beautiful bowl. One down. That was such a good bowl, wasn't it? Slipping away. Slip sliding away. And again, you're so good. This turn, will it turn? Will avoid its own bowl. It's not bad. Well, it turned that Scottish bowl off, but I don't think it's. Uh, I still think it might be South Africa one, is it, Simon? I think this is close, Mike. We've constantly been deceived when trying to uh, guess the shots. It's commentator's nightmare when you give someone a rap, isn't it? when there's just a few millimetres in it and um, it might be uh, it might be South Africa well that's what uh, presents as you have a look at it there for Darren Burnett quite a few spectators gathering around now having a look at it this is the third end of the second set after South Africa took the first set 10-8 oh, well if he could uh, take out the shot bowl it's possible that uh, Scotland would be left with two or maybe even three yeah there is that other uh, Jerry Baker bowl just behind that bowl directly south of the, the jack. There's one, two, yeah, could probably only see two there. That third bowl to the left at about eight o'clock is out of the count, you would think. Uh, but if you can take that Scotland bowl out, they might hold through. It's on its way for Darren Burnett. It's just going to go through. So what do they agree on here? Is it South Africa? They may just have to call for the umpire here. They are going to call for the umpire. Here he is. And it's uh, Robert Carlson of Australia. John Brotherton of Australia is the other umpire. Parashama is our paddle pop man today. From India, of course, and they've done a fantastic job. So are the umpires. Yeah, it's uh, one for South Africa by the look of things here. Jerry Baker's bowl held shot and it's 2-1 to South Africa. Oh. What makes you think you're qualified for this, John?
Almost full length again. And there's Sean Adenall and his delivery stop. There's Jerry Baker with the click. Get over there. Get over there. He'll give that bowl a very severe talking to. Didn't do what he wanted. semi-final it's a four all in the second set England won the first set against uh, Malaysia and Jerry Jerry well he'll give that one a, oh it's just hung on and Sean Adendor was very very thankful of that Neil Spears would love this close Very good. Desk bowl of Neil Spears holding shot here for Scotland as the skips make their way to the head. <laughs> Darren Burnett's been a little bit skinny with his uh, grass from this end and no, he just tried to uh, tip that ball over, but he's just, uh, he just quite, hasn't quite got the line right. Holding one, you would think, Scotland. That wasn't your bravest call of the week, uh, Mike. It's a long way away. It's up there. I apologise. <laughs> and given my form over the, <laughs> the weeks, so I'm, I tell you what, William Hill or Ladbrokes would be having a field day with me. Yeah, he just can't quite get inside. Jerry Baker. Be a bit competitive, it's vying for second. <laughs> well, on that evidence, it's uh, two to Scotland. Oh, and Sean Adendall's got the click going now. Didn't work for him. Again, I do it. You don't let that shot. Yeah, it's got to work. He's he's corrected the line, but he's corrected a little bit too much. So. It's leaving the gate open a little bit here for Jerry Baker. He's got the best backwood. 
if he wants to play an on shot and try and pick up the jack. He's got the two Scottish poles either side of the jack, which he may try and draw either, either hand. The, the forehand might be a bit skinny, but the bowls are tending to hold their line pretty well when they get down that end. So I think he'll go the forehand and just try and draw it in. Either, either that or he'll have a running shot. Yeah, a little bit of pace. He's trying to pick up the jack and take it to the back because they've got the best back wood. It's going to miss. So Scotland win the end and they win it with two shots. And they now take the lead in the second set. And it's 3-2. Get to New Zealand's premier cookware destination, Harvey Norman, for the latest in modern, stylish, functional cookware from around the globe. Whether building, renovating or simply upgrading, come and see our cookware specialists for a tailor-made package or solution to suit your needs. Or choose a replacement item from our huge range across all our big brands. New Zealand's premier cooking destination is Harvey Norman. Talk to the experts today for the complete kitchen and cookware solution. It's become altogether much tighter in this second set with just small steps. Excellent bowl from Neil Spears. Absolutely dead weight on that. Rolls round behind the jack, leans against it. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Great bowl too from Sean Adnell there. Well, I think they're both on the jack. Well, we met. Feels good. And then on the high side, it's good. <laughs> it's a half. <laughs> I'd like the umpire to try to measure that. <laughs> Get his calipers out. Perfect, yeah. Oh, there's some excellent play, and that. <laughs> that's even going to drop. Exceptionally good play here. It's a nice shot. Yeah, both magnificent sides. lead bowling by uh, both, both leads. You play up to Neil's ball's confidence. Try to get the one two there, Sean. A uh, nice positive shot. Yes. So you're hearing Jerry Baker saying, nice positive shot just to get on the blue, and it may spring that other blue bowl of Scotland out. Doesn't want him to be short. Click your fingers, Jerry. It's coming round. Okay. Can he get a nudge? Not okay. enough. Touch it, you're way too. Neil Spears, his bowl is already on, on its way. Come on, Neil, you're big bowl. Trying to get yeah. It's going to have a little nudge, little nudge. Now, that red bowl of South Africa's has dropped away from the jack, so Scotland are certainly holding one. That is a magnificent uh, head from the Leeds. It's a fair target though, isn't it? Yeah, you would think if um, Jerry Baker could just take the jack to the left of the jack there, he could split those Scottish bowls up. Well, I think if he hits the uh, front Scottish bowl with a little bit of uh, work on it, not a great deal, he might be able to spring the whole lot. Here we are. It's, it's pretty close, this. 
Well, he got a connection. It was just too flush on that uh, Scottish bowl. If he could just have gone off an edge, it would have been a different story. And what Darren Burnett said immediately there you are, well, Neil Spears is saying to Darren Burnett, if you can just come through there, get the weight on those two bowls, you might split the South African bowls, and the jack might come back, might hold uh, two or three. It's not far away either from Darren Burnett. Oh. Connects with the jack. And now, this is quite remarkable, this end, the accuracy. This is probably one of the best ends we've seen uh, all tournament. Uh, just the draw play by all players there was just fantastic. When you think of the distance, it's not, the, it's not a maximum length end, but um, there's still a fair distance between the mat and the head. And to be this accurate, it's fairly, fairly extraordinary. Just think Scotland just holding one on that shot, Simon. Quality high, but this is the Commonwealth Games in lawn bowls. That's serious stuff, seriously important. This is turning towards the pack as well. And that's probably Scotland. Jerry Baker coming off his own move bowl, nudged the jack, but it's fallen in Scotland's favour. Darren Burnett didn't hesitate. You've got the two black bowls at the top of you or towards the top of your screen there. That's the gap. If he can just come through there, draw it, and run the jack back, he could hold four. If that's if his own bowl does rest on the jack. Here it comes. Looking to pick up the jack into the open arms of those blue bowls it was stopped in its run by that South African bowl with the red disc he'll get one more chance possibly of turning that bowl over now South Africa have got the, the best the, the black bowl at the bottom of your screen don't be surprised if uh, Jerry Baker has a crack at this yeah through that promoting that uh, Sean Adendal bowl at the, at the top. The, with the red disc, with the, red the dark disc bowl with the red there. disc. Yeah, if he can just promote that one, get a contact on that, maybe take the jack. And they've got one out the back as well. He's running with a bit of pace. Wants to hit that darker bowl with the red disc, too wide. Picks up his own. And no great uh, change there. Oh, this is a huge opportunity for Darren Burnett now. Scotland are holding one. Well, it could only be one at the moment, but that could all change. If he could just nudge the jack, we've got that uh, phalanx of three blue disc bowls, a little semicircle, almost a four. If he could just rest the jack into the, uh, you know, the middle of those. This is a massive bowl for Darren Burnett. Scotland leading 3-2 in the second set. They're definitely going to extend that advantage. But by how many? Is it enough? Oh, it didn't turn over for him. It didn't roll over for him. He was looking to be able to just get a couple of rolls to get into the count. And after being in such a position to, to get anything of up to five in that, some aspects, um, but they're going to have a look at it. There's going to be a measure. Well, there's, well, I don't know. I think they've taken that one out that it's not in the count. That's another one that's not in the count. Now, they're not moving the shot bowl because it's, it's is it resting against that uh, move bowl of Jerry Baker's. So if they move it, it's possible that... Um, the move bowl might shift a little, just fall, just drop. It certainly looks like one stroke two to <laughs> Scotland. The umpire will just put some wedges so that the so that's that's the shot bowl out. <laughs> it 
There's two he's given. Two for Scotland. And now a Very measure. Yep. South Africa's bowl at the top. Two for Scotland minimum. Carlson from Australia, the umpire. So that is two, I think. Yeah, just the two to Scotland. It's good. It's just a slight opportunity miss, perhaps, given the position of those Scottish bowls. But nevertheless, Scotland lead 5-2 in the second set. Couldn't live more than three minutes from real coffee. Love those wide open spaces. In here as well as out there. It's hard to get to. Maybe why it's the best kept secret in town. Don't tell anyone. The all new Street Smart Mitsubishi ASX. Built for your city life. Love that car. And on the rink next door, Simon, England lead by three with one end to play. So England on the verge of getting into this men's pairs final on the next door rink. But this one here is far from decided. Just a little bit short this time from Neil Spears and a little correction in the mat. Oh, the grass, I should say. Jerry Baker clicking it to come in. Two uh, results coming through from the men's singles this morning. Not too many surprises. Maybe one was a, a defeat for Paul Foster. Foster beaten by Gary Kelly of Northern Ireland. But, uh, most of the other fancied contenders. Dave Selby of uh, Australia. Rob Wheel, very su successful. Ali Forsyth. Safwan Saeed of Malaysia. Yeah, Gary Kelly actually leads that uh, group, so that was a tough map match there for Paul Foster. Well, not much in it. Maybe one for Jerry. Could 
Rugby 2 South Africa here. Straight through the gap from Darren Burnett. Good roll here. Just going to pass through, but uh, is held up by the other South African bowl. Darren Burnett very quick onto the mat has it got enough running out of steam it needed a few more legs Sean Adenor is pretty confident they're holding three yeah it looked that way earlier it was two uh, from our target there um, certainly two yeah, it looks like three. And if you can actually draw a shot here, and it is three already, South Africa could, could take the lead. It's come up uh, some way short. A little bit of pressure on Darren Burnett here. That's the situation that uh, Darren Burnett will be looking at. It's on its way. Not sure he liked it that much. When it come round. It's a little bit out wide. It's a very good end here for South Africa. And it's going to be three by the look of things. Check the marker. And three red lollipops make it three for South Africa and they tie the scores in this intriguing second set. <laughs> Meanwhile cheers ringing out on the next rink across because England have beaten Malaysia. Combination of Merv King and Stuart Airy. They're going into the final but who will they be playing? What will the final be like if it's England v Scotland? Well, I think whatever, it's going to be a, a fairly competitive affair. Yeah, the England-Scotland clash could be a fairly easy affair. But a long way to go on this, and South Africa will have a fair bit to say on that. Five all, that's a good bounce back with that three on the sixth end. King and Airy have been impressive, particularly Stuart Airy. Look at that. Cherry bag is just gone. Click. My fingers. Just trying to get that bowl to turn in. Good reply here from Neil Spears too. They really could do with winning this end, Scotland, bearing in mind that uh, if they tie this set, it's not going to be enough. They need an outright win in the set. He's just rolled it over enough? Yeah, maybe. Must be something about this end where they uh, tend to crowd around the the jack here. A shot, Sean. Are you playing? Perhaps they will run down into a little quite, quite valley good. or something. Don't be nervous. Put some mad lines on the ball. You get to the jack. Sorry. You are we one all. of the better conspiracy theorists.
This time just cutting across the face. It's, uh, it's gone through a little bit. One of the uh, Scottish fans. Sun uh, is not necessarily seen that often in Scotland, is it, Simon? No, it'll be a, a day for the uh, Factor 50. Yes, this uh, Indian sun, it, uh, if it's clear sky, it uh, burns you very, very quickly. Yeah, it's breezy too. Most uh, sailors will know when it's uh, breezy in the sunshine. Amazing how, how you get affected by the sun. So a very tight match, South Africa and Scotland. Uh, Cherry Baker. Oh, a nice Very little good. knock there. Takes the shot. Stop looking, set the ball, look at the jack. Uses his own bowl or uh, his teammate's bowl. Darren Burnett's given up. You could see just uh, at the far end, he just threw both arms to the outside and said, What have I done? Great concentration, Jerry Baker. He's just got to turn a little bit. Can they get inside? Uh, lovely weight. Not just a one net. <laughs> oh, trying up. Yep. Uh, Darren Burnett's just trying to play onto that uh, Jerry Baker bowl. If he can turn that out, he might hold a couple. Oh, he's just gone through. One here. Absolutely. I've just, uh, we talk about the gentlemanly game of lawn bowls. I've just seen something very, very nice. George Sneddon, who is the uh, the manager of the Scottish team, Sean Adendall came to the uh, the Esky to get a drink. There wasn't any in there, so George went and got him. Uh, it's fantastic. The Scottish manager, uh, the uh, South African manager is just missing at the moment, so. Jerry Baker looking to draw another. Has he got the legs? Not quite. Uh, they're going to agree on one here. And that is one to South Africa. South Africa take the lead. Two ends remaining. Jack sent down here by Neil Spears. In fact, for a moment it was uh, going to run into the ditch. <laughs> yes, if the uh, Jack happens to uh be put in the ditch then uh, it's returned to the mat and the opposing team gets to roll the length they want however the team that rolled the jack in the initial stage would then be asked to go first Jerry click those fingers I don't know whether you can pull it up this time it's going to stop though yep There you saw it straighten up again. We've spoken about this rink on numerous occasions, how there is a little ridge, and every now and then the bowl will actually straighten up. And it did there. That may have uh, aided Neil Spears.
very tight end. But Scotland cannot afford really to lose this end. Absolutely not. And again, yes. That didn't help a great deal. He was trying to, uh, well, he'd taken the wrong grass initially. He was just trying to roll his own bowl over, and it just didn't happen. it on. Oh, Never yes. quite getting there. Yeah, it's in that mix of the two Scottish bowls at the top and yeah that's well so that's not uh, worrying the head at all but the problem for Scotland here is that uh, the best back bowl is the South African bowl but plenty of room in there to be able to draw for the skips. Yes, good try, and takes the shot, Darren Burnett. Possibly two. Oh, there's an interested spectator on the right, the veteran Scottish bowler, Willie Wood. So he's enjoying his eighth Commonwealth Games. Wasn't uh, in the medals for this year's uh, men's triples. He started the tournament in reasonably ordinary fashion, but by gee, he played some wonderful bowls as the uh, tournament went on. Jerry, uh, here's uh, Sean Adendall trying to uh, click it into shot bowl. Two for Jerry Baker. Yeah, now it's staying out there. Careful, and I think he saw the danger there of those two back South African bowls. It's hard in this situation to be able to put one back there to match the South African bowls, given the, sh the situation there's only this end and the next end to play and you're a shot down. Jerry Baker still has another bowl. falling away, it's falling short. Yeah, it just ran out of steam. That, and that's uh, giving Jerry Baker a, a chance here to to draw a shot again. You heard uh, Neil Spears say that he thinks they are holding two. Well, on that evidence, it would be a toss up. It's debatable. Certainly one. One would level the scores. Scotland must win this set. Plenty of time been taken here by Jerry Baker and Sean Adenau. If Jerry Baker can draw the shot here, it's going to make it very difficult for Scotland. If he can just draw one shot, that'll be 7-5. Scotland would then need three shots in the last end.
we've seen uh, this man a few times over the last few days, Mike, and uh, he has tended to be Mr. Reliability. Yeah, this is a huge ball in the context of the overall match. Here it comes. Will it turn? No, no, staying out. Stay out there. Coming in belatedly, but probably not enough. Second shot, Jerry. <laughs> and it's one to Scotland. That look of frustration on Jerry Baker's face. Come on, sort your lollipops out. Here we are. <laughs> one to Scotland. And it's six all with the last end ahead of us. Is it? Of this set, I should say. <laughs> Darren Burnett will get the last hey, bowl in regulation time. So South Africa to start this last end. And so far, after 17 ends, there's two shots in it. Very good start. The winner of this match will play England for the gold medal. The loser will face Malaysia for the bronze. It's pretty good from Sean Adnall. Good ball there. I think you should look for that ball. It's a ball and a half shot. Wanna fool your bend, son. It's under the line. Where it goes. But it's at the back of the head at least. Turn left. Turn left. Yeah, Scotland with a couple out the back. Sean. We're gonna have a talk. There's a conference. Mid rink conference. Baker, put me thinking a few shots ahead here, Mike. Yeah, I think they they always do. Uh, he's looking well, irrespective for uh, South Africa to go straight through without having to go to extra ends. They need to win the end as much as Scotland need to win the end to force a tie break. Uh, he's probably looking at not necessarily matching those two Scottish back bowls at the moment, but just trying probably to get another one into the head. But he's. Initially, he was going to go the forehand, but Jerry's convinced him to switch and go to the backhand. The South African pair, the bronze medalists in Manchester. Okay, finishing good. Well done. And Baker's happy with that. South African skip. Yeah, it may have been in a case there where. Uh, you were 100 percent right that they were looking forward to what lies ahead and wanting to get one a little bit deeper
And the gravity of this situation is such that uh, Neil Spears is taking a long time. He's a fast player. A chat about it. It's on its way. With a bit of weight here. Trying to take out this South jack. African bowl. He's got it. And trails the jack. That couldn't have worked out much better for Scotland. High fives. <laughs> Brilliant bowl from Newell Spears. Getting the jack out of the area there, or not the jack, the um, it, the uh, South African bowl. And it comes through and then grabs at least two for Scotland at the moment. And here is the reaction. If that had have been uh, the bowl that claimed the set, I think Darren Burnett would have leapt into his arms as he did before. Yeah. Yes, there was almost a belly bump on the cards there. What can Jerry Baker do now? As things stand, Scotland will take it forward, but this ends far from over, but that will miss. <coughs> and remembering that Darren Burnett gets last bowl in this end. What Darren Burnett is trying to do here is leave one out there on the left because where the jack is positioned against the blue bowl, you would think it would squirt that way because they thought, well, so they've really got the bowls on the right of the jack as we look at it. And it can only be sprung out that way. But Jerry Baker will be keen just to rest on the blue Scottish bowl. Maybe get a deflection through the middle. There it is, not even going to attempt to get one in, just to where Neil Spears is standing. That's where he wants to del deliver this bowl because Jerry Baker looked as though he was going to persist with that area. Just trying to draw that bowl off the, set, uh, the Scottish bowl. One bowl each remaining. Advantage very much with Scotland here. Two and a quarter hours the match has been going. If he fails to reduce Scotland's two shots here, it's going to a tie break. It's on the jack, is it? Ah, he's got connection, but it's still with Scotland. And that'll be the set to Scotland. Darren Burnett has uh, actually left the rink for a comfort break. It's 1-2 Scotland. They win the set. 7-6, one set all. We're into the tie break. So a 3M tie break and it is a cumulative score. It's not the best of three ends. It's a cumulative score. Just in that last end, the balance of play was always with the Scots, yep. wasn't it? The, they always had not only had the two shots, but it was a tactical edge as well. It wasn't a lot. But Jerry Baker could have done it. It was a great effort. But he didn't have much out the back there to pick up the uh, the jack. What he was hoping to do on that Scottish bowl is hit that Scottish bowl and stop immediately. Uh, that's what they were trying to do. There's Robbie, Do oh, Robbie Dobbins just walking down the stairs there now. He's uh, an Australian, formerly with the Cahiba Bowling Club in Newcastle, now uh, living on the Gold Coast. Uh, but he is the Scottish coach, the man in the sunglasses, who's just sat down. So... Uh, he'd be uh, very, very keen on this match. And there's uh, Jerry Baker, the uh, South African skip, who has played superbly. Yeah, he was just trying to rest on that bowl 
And if he had have got that shot and had to stayed there, we'd now be showing the highlight reel. <laughs> Teens Fraser, the coach. Neil Spears, who has played superbly today. He's probably been in and out of the game a little bit. He's, he's had some, mm. a couple of ordinary ends, but then he's come back brilliantly. And so there we go. Want to get through. They won both triples yesterday, male and female. And a very, very good performance. Darren Burnett now coming back uh, onto the green, walking across the middle of the green as we get another shot of well, he would. There he is, the big fella. So a play about to get underway now. Scotland winning that last end of the second set, but they put South Africa in. Adenal throws down the jack. Very warm conditions now in New Delhi at the Chayin Sports Complex right next to the main stadium. Okay, next one. The umbrellas could take flight on any moment. Let's run up a little bit. We've even given a clap there by Tins Fraser. This is better. Wonderful line there from Sean Adenal. And there is that. It just took a little correction there. Once again. On this rink we've seen it many times. Just straightens out. Let's see if we can see it uh, here. One stage it looks as though it's going to pick up the jack all right. Just straightens there. And that uh, pushes it outside the jack. Sean Adler was running after that. He liked it all the way. Loved it. Neil Spears quick to play. Run. Again, a very good bowl, but uh, straight into another South African bowl's lap there. Yeah, South Africa might be holding two there, so it's very close, and definitely holding one at the moment. Now Jerry Baker has a look at it. South African supporter, one would suppose. I'd probably say a serious South African supporter. I hope it wasn't a jumper, I hope it was a t shirt because it's about 300 degrees in the water back here. Yeah, Jerry Baker, that's probably his worst bowl all day. Uh, he's played some absolutely classics. Well, that was a clanger. Maybe at that little time off, when he was in the zone, play was happening, it can happen from time to 
Darren Burnett just bounced that one out of the blocks. Yeah, that break in play there between the end of the second set and the tie break. This is pretty close as well. South Africa holding two now. Just advances a red ball. No, that won't figure very much, but um, maybe it's there, is it, for a being generous? The jack out the side, maybe, but it, uh, if he was going for the... Uh, for a draw, it wasn't at all close. Under. Springs one beyond. Yeah, that's definitely sound Africa. The, the man in the white cap with the beard was leaning on the fence. Now, the, the chap in the South African shirt would be five or six metres back from the fence. The black in the white shirt was leaning on the fence. He went and tapped him on the shoulder and asked him to shift. Fair dinkum. There's no monitor at the back telling me he's on television. So, a very tense situation here. South Africa holding to Darren Burnett, Burnett feeling the pinch. He will have last bowl. Jerry Baker has got one bowl remaining. Darren Burnett has one bowl. As our umbrella nearly gets tipped inside out. So I think they were looking to see whether South Africa can get another one in there, but he wouldn't want to disturb anything. Just rolled that. Well, has he opened up the door a little bit? It's hard to see but unless he can draw onto the bowl, the bottom of the jack. Now, at the, about the eight o'clock mark, they've both Scottish bowls there. But I don't know whether he can spring if he comes the. Uh, no, he's going to go the forehand side. And I, he might have a wind up here. He is. Chasing after it. Uh oh, and, and uh, leaves the two bowls that count untouched. So there we are. Two for South Africa in the first end of the tie break. So 2-0 to South Africa after one end of the tie break here on rink one at the JN Sports Complex. Both sides bidding for a place in the final. Where the winner will meet England. Yeah, good start from Neil right, Spears. Put a mile away, yeah, Sean. Come on. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Yeah, well yeah, good ball. Very good ball. And just sitting down in front of our commentary position there, just uh, behind the rails, if you like, is the successful uh, members of the women's triples team and the men's team. So South Africa winning gold in both those events. Mills, can you just turn that one over? Oh, no, it's just run through. Shot South Africa. Get behind the jack, Sean. We lie. And you can hear, hear Jerry Baker saying, don't be short, be up.
off his own pole. Leif Selby's nearly been uh, taken out, the Australian singles player. And we have got an enormous uh, rock lump of concrete sitting on our uh, umbrella. Well, that just uh, affected everything. And that has gone through as play goes on. Now, you would think from that position, South Africa are still holding two. They got two in the first end of the tie break and holding two here again. Very gusty here now. As Sean Admiral throws his next ball down the rink. This looks more on the money. That's just pulled up short. Yeah, he wanted that up a little bit further. Jerry Baker really didn't want one that was short of the jack. a little under the line but the weight is pretty good and that is probably the shot bowl at the moment yeah very very tight I don't know whether Darren Burnett is that well, Simon. I uh, just saw him talk to the manager. He's, he's taken some sustenance. I don't know whether he's terribly well at all. Now, maybe it's the heat getting to Darren Burnett. Well, he did disappear after the second set. I mean, it is a factor in playing here in uh, New Delhi. It's a factor for everybody, I suppose, with the, uh, the heat at this time of the day particularly. Been on the, uh, they've been on the rink uh, two and a half hours. Get to the bog one, mate. You get the and shot. This would certainly aid uh, the England men's pairs combination, who have gone through in straight sets against Malaysia. Now they finished almost 40 minutes ago, if not three quarters of an hour ago, and here is um, Scotland and South Africa still out there. Please, perfect. He's just come up short again. No one wants to win this in. Maybe a bit of tension creeping That's in. Jack level, eh? <coughs> There's too many people around the uh, the camera area. Just uh, as we were trying to affect a change over here, and they're looking at being able to keep. And there was some movement. So, uh, Cherry. Just wanted to, people to be very still. Hey. He can get a little I nudge on his own bowl. Yeah. He does so, and that's right on the jack. Yeah. Using his own bowl there. He was uh, just heading down under the line. It's worked out well. I don't know whether we can put our target in again to have another look as to exactly where these shots are. There, there is one there. Um, maybe that second black bowl at about the, uh, the 7 o'clock mark might be in the count as well. There it is. It's very, very close. The wind is uh, blowing our... Uh, Jimmy Jib camera on our big arm, which you've obviously seen in shot from time to time. It's just the wind has really got this is the strongest it's been all tournament. Darren Burnett really needs to make this, makes this count, doesn't he? Has to. Well, there's a connection with the jack. 
But uh, it's fallen South Africa's way there. By the look of things. Well, you'd probably think that's two shots, Simon. Now, here's, here's a real, real scenario. If, if Jerry Baker can draw to those two bowls, that'll give it five. Then England would have to get... Scotland. Uh, Scotland, I should say. Would have to get five to tie maximum to win. same time Jerry Baker wouldn't want to turn it over because there's two Scottish bowls just behind. How bold will he be? You just want to be able to rest on the bowl. I think it's going to come up short. I don't think he was going at it too hard. I think they understand it's two shots. Yeah, they're going to agree on two. It's still... Uh, a vital couple of shots, though, for South Africa. And in the tie break, they win four. They, they lead. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. They lead 4 0. The wind really has picked up. And unfortunately, hasn't taken too much sting out of the temperature here. Just playing absolute havoc with the infrastructure here at the JN Sports Complex. And these same uh, red and orange umbrellas are at the main athletic stadium, so you can imagine what it's doing once the breeze gets into there. A very, very good start by Neil Spears. Might need something special here from the Scots. must win this end by four. That's just to send it into a, an extra end. Five to win. That's oh. excellent from Adenor. There's a little jump in the air. Delighted with that. Just the release of some pressure there. That's great. Meanwhile, Neil Spears, foal is on his way. Just straightens out. At that particular part of the rink, which we've seen so often over the last few days. A, you can see Neil Spears purposely needs to get these three bowls of his past the head. There is no sense now leaving anything short. And you can see Jerry Baker straight away saying, I want one at the back to match. There's Baker standing right out the back here. Clicking the finger, saying, come on, Sean, come on, Sean. That'll do, though. Fantastic bowl from the lead. And there's that track again. But no, I don't think it's going to pull up, is it? It's going to head to the ditch. It's, yeah, it's, it's gone. See you later. It's played uh, possibly its last bowl in the Commonwealth Games. Sean Attle out very wide on the forehand. Again, this is uh, another one round the back if it holds, holds on. Now, what they try and do, so there is the spot mark and he was just trying to draw for that spot mark. In the eventuality of the jack leaving the confines of the rink. Let me just spring the jack here. A glancing blow only. But what he's done though is he's opened it up and his bowl has still stayed in the confines. It's back there. And there is the black bowl at the bottom of your screen there is the bowl that could be crucial to South Africa. If 
they happen to trail the jack through. South Africa holding a shot. Lead by four. This is the third end of the tie break. Happy with it there. And he's not happy. That's not the bowl that Darren Burnett wanted. Scotland have these two out the back. They've got two in the ditch. Oh, yeah, they've got three on the green, and they need four. And I think they're covered in every angle by South African bowls. <laughs> Jerry Baker's not even looking at that one. Yeah, I think he he understands that uh, it's over. Darren Burnett maybe having a, a desperate run at it. Could pick up the jack. He does so. And then the jack has sprung back in. They'll shake hands because it's all over. And South Africa will go through now to play England for the gold medal in the men's pairs. A tremendous match. And that should be a great match as well. Two very strong teams. There we are. It was one to Scotland in that final end just to finish the scoring. And South Africa won the tie break 4-1 and the match. And this uh, team of Sean Admiral and Jerry Baker, former bronze medalists at the Commonwealth Games in 2002. Well, they're set to improve on that. They're now through to the final. They'll play England in the men's final, men's pairs final, later on today. It's an intriguing match from start to finish. There was very little in it for much of the way. They started off scoring very heavily. Scotland uh, took four shots in the first end, three in the second for South Africa. There are the details, South Africa beating Scotland, England beating Malaysia, and what a final we've got to look forward to later on between these two very strong teams, Merv King and Stuart Airy for England. Stuart Airy, very impressive so far in the competition. And uh, some excellent bowls here, Mike. Yeah, very uh, true, Simon. Uh, there was the opening four. That was the very first den and was a great way uh, for uh, Scotland to start. But the, the very next end, uh, South Africa hit back with a three. So on the opening two wins, seven uh, shots were scored. Uh, they continued on. Uh, Scotland pull, pulled one there. And a little bit later on, South Africa on N7 were able to get a big four. And that was the four, and that turned the uh, the first set. They went on to win that to both sides, shared a single shot in ends eight and nine. There was the class, and this is probably a turning point of the match. That was a possible five, and they only ended up with two there, which still gave them a three-shot lead. And uh, then South Africa came back with a three on N6, which was a, uh, a real telling blow. That levelled it up at five all. South Africa got a shot on N7. That Scotland shot on N8 to make it six all. And then uh, Scotland were able to get one to make it 7-6 uh, and force the tie break. But in the end, a very, very good result for South Africa. They will play England, as you mentioned, Simon, and Scotland now have to regroup and they will play Malaysia for the bronze medal. A possibly significant factor was the duration of this match. Those players were out there for two hours and 40 minutes. England took a, a lot less time to beat Malaysia. They might be the, the fresher side, but it's going to be fascinating.